Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel today. So as you can see, today's look is definitely very different from what you would see like anybody wearing every day. But I wanted to go with something a little funky. Um, I wanted a black lip and a yellow eyeshadow, so I made it work. Um, so as you'll see in this video, the there's only one actual eyeshadow I use, the rest is just like highlighters and stuff and eyeliners. Highlighters and eyeliners. They sound very similar when I say it like this. <laughs> but otherwise, I used this Smashbox one, which I don't think they make anymore, but any yellow eyeshadow that you have. So if you look here, it comes with a range of colours. So I just use this eyeshadow here. It's a matte eyeshadow and I actually thought that this turned out quite well. And you'll see halfway through the video or like right at the beginning that I did attempt to use a white eyeliner so that I could make the colour really pop. But the eyeliner that I have that's white, it just didn't work for what I was trying to do. So excuse that little mix up, but hey, it's part of the process, you know, part of learning what brands work and what doesn't. So otherwise, I really hope uh, you'll continue watching to see how I, you know, created this look. And I would love to see if you guys try it. If not, that's fine. In the meantime, please subscribe and continue watching. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to start completely barefaced um, today. And the first thing I'm going to do is spot conceal because I've got a few acne areas. And I saw this trick on TikTok which is just to spot conceal any blemish in the mat that you want to cover um, and letting it sit on your face before foundation for a few minutes. Just blending out those edges so it's not going to be so harsh underneath the foundation. Now, um, to start out on the eyes, I am wanting to actually go in with a yellow. Uh, don't know why, I'm just really feeling like a yellow eyeshadow, like just yellow, and that's essentially it. So, with the Smashbox palette, it's the yellow that I want to use in that, which I don't think these are made anymore, but any colour yellow that you have should work fine as long as you use this technique. Hopefully it works for me. But yeah, so this yellow here is what I want to use. And to make that really pop, so I think what I'll do is I'll go over my normal eye prep. So I'm going to conceal them, conceal them, and then I'm going to set them with one of my face powders. So a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and a um, Australis Fresh and Flawless Face Powder. Then I'm going to use some white eyeliner before we use eyeshadow um, but we'll get to that next so let me finish the eyes first well I'm back with one eye done and a slight dilemma my original idea to go in with a white eyeliner first at least with the eyeliners that I have got didn't work so new plan um, I'm going to show you what I did instead and still using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer Go over the whole eye, out to the edge a bit too, in that area, in the front, and then some underneath. You need to blend it all out. I just use my damp sponge so I can absorb up any excess product. And then just patting, make sure there's no creases. And 
Now, here is where it changes from an everyday look. Go in with your Smashbox colour or yellow, whatever yellow you have on hand. The brush I'm using, it's like a sort of flatter top blending brush, but I'm not going to swirl in any way. We're going to pat the colour directly onto that damp concealer and go in with the colour as many times as you want and only patting. This may seem strange at first to not automatically start blending, but the only way I can describe it is as you're patting, it starts to feather out and slightly then blend itself because we have not got a white underneath. It's just the concealer. And the more you're patting over a certain area, the more it starts to blend out. So don't forget to do the same on the lower lash line. So just keep patting until you're pretty much happy with it. So at the moment, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I want to do my cheat of winged eyeliner. So obviously using my quick flick, this size that I've got now is the modest size. So it is 10 mil it says. Um, and just, you know, stamp your liner. It's like by far the easiest thing that you could do ever. <laughs> Fill in the rest. Right, I'm just going to do a quick through of the eyelashes because I will have a separate video coming out for that soon on how I use and put on my eyelashes. So you don't really need to watch through. Final step for the eyes, because I forgot to show before mascara, um, I'm going in, it's like the outside does not do it justice, it is uh, sort of like a gold metallic eyeliner, 
that I'm going to use on my waterline. This shade is called Sub Zero. So just on the waterline. I'm also going to place this on the inner corner. because I want to make my inner corner highlight pop a little bit more. And as you guys do know, my favorite inner corner highlight is the Fenty Beauty one. Kilowatt slash Hustler Baby, because I can never remember which shade it actually is called. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to pop up camera again real quick, do the rest of the face and then come back to finish the lips. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now that the rest of my face is done, I'm ready to continue on with the lips and I really want to do a black lip because I don't know why I think that yellow and black would work out like really well. Um, but I actually don't have a black lipstick. So what I'm going to do is use a black lip liner this one's from Colourpop again, my favourite. Um, it is, the shade, sorry, is called Bull Chic. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is line my lips and fill them in almost everywhere. And then more so towards the centre to add some dimension. I want to use a, just the darkest lipstick that I own. And this one here is a Rimmel one. And the shade is 750 look who's talking so you'll see how it comes together at the end but like i said we're going to fill them in um pretty much everything maybe other than just like the absolute center so like still the cupid's bow and the bottom but using some of that lipstick um we're just going to use a little bit and then pat it out So go in with that lipstick. And I was gonna use my finger to pat it out. Alright, so that's everything now done. Um, I really like how the black lips, well, almost black lips, <laughs> um, really match in with like the lashes and the liner of the look and it doesn't take away from uh, the yellow eyeshadow. Um, but I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's a lot better. Obviously, I had a bit of a mix up at the start, but it still turned out a lot better than I imagined. Um, next time for a nice uh, colored eyeshadow I believe what I should do is get a really good like white base maybe like a P Louise but stay tuned maybe I'll have it maybe I won't <laughs> but otherwise if you don't have um, like the expensive eyeshadow primers like P Louise or you cut your hands on because it is from overseas 
then this is like a nice alternative. Using whatever light concealer that you have, putting that on your eyelid, and then instead of setting that concealer, you're actually setting it with the color that you're trying to use. And I think this type of look is perfect for somebody who's a little intimidated to use color, like they want to use a good color, um, but they don't know where to start. So this is like a good one color look. So you don't have to go all out, you don't have to have a million one colors, you can just use one singular color, nothing else. Um, but anyway, so thank you so much for tuning in so far and watching it all the way to the end. I definitely very much appreciate it and if you haven't, subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.